This box is essentially a video pass-through device, which means rather than connecting your computer or laptop or games console directly to your display, you'd connect it to the Cloner Alliance Pro, and then you'd connect the Cloner Alliance Pro to your TV, which means that this box becomes a middleman. This then allows the Cloner Alliance Pro to record all the video signals that flow through it to a USB drive. That USB drive can later then be plugged into a computer and the video clips can be copied and edited. The added benefit of using Using the Cloner Alliance Pro to do all the recording is that none of the raw recording processing is done on your computer. It's all done on board this little thing, which in turn frees up your PC's resources to be used on getting those extra frames per second and general performance increase. Now as you can tell, it's tiny. So firstly here, we've got the infrared sensor for the remote control that comes included. Next to it, you've got the power LED, and then we have a source button, so we can switch between all of the different input sources which I'll show you in a minute. We also have a snapshot button which allows you to take still photos and then we have the record start and record stop button which you can press to begin the recording either from the device directly or from the remote control. This button here also doubles up as the power on and off button so if you keep hold of it for a few seconds it will power down the device and likewise just push it when you need to power it on. Now on this side, we have some audio sockets. So the line in and line out act as audio pass-through, whereas the microphone will allow you to input your own sound on top of whatever's on this already. This can be especially useful if you're streaming. And then here we have a USB socket, which you can use to plug in your storage device. And that's where all of your videos will be recorded to. I've personally managed to test it successfully with this little SanDisk device. So as long as you're using a reputable brand, I can't see why it wouldn't work. And then on this side, here we have the power socket, Socket, so you can plug it into your wall and then we have three HDMI sockets and I'll explain them all to you. So for example if you have a Nintendo Switch you would plug your Nintendo Switch into this where it says in and then you would plug another HDMI cable to your TV into the out. Just so you know an additional HDMI cable does come free in the box with this device. So most of you will probably use the HDMI in and HDMI out. Now you'll notice there's a third HDMI socket called MMI in and I think this means multimedia interface in. And that's in reference to this added HDMI cable that comes packed in the box. Now what makes this HDMI cable so special is, on the other end, it has a VGA interface which allows you to plug in VGA devices. But not only that, it also comes with a composite adapter, so you can plug in your old retro video game systems that use composite, or something like an old camcorder or VCR. But it doesn't end there. It also comes with these three, which are component interfaces. So if you have something like a Nintendo Wii that has a component output, you can plug it straight into this. And all of these are actually connected all together into this one HDMI interface. And this would then plug into the MMI input on the back of your device. And earlier on when I showed you at the front, the little source button, that's the button you can use to cycle through all the different inputs. So let me just show you on the remote control too. You can cycle between HDMI, VGA, component, and composite. And next to MMI, you can see another socket that says to PC. In the box is a supplied USB cable, which will allow you to plug the Clone Alliance Pro into your PC so you can use it with software such as OBS. And you can use OBS to record directly from this. So you can use it as a capture device, or you could even use OBS to live stream the Nintendo 64 footage directly. Here's a quick sample of some footage I recorded using Clona Alliance Pro. And so in this first clip, you can see my Japanese 60Hz Nintendo 64 in full color. And if you want, you can elect to change the aspect ratio from 4 to 3 to 16 to 9 and vice versa, depending on your preferences. And here's some 50Hz capture from my PAL Nintendo Entertainment System. As you can tell, the Clona Alliance Pro does both 50Hz and 60Hz in full color, and you can also record in either 1080p or 720p if you'd like to save in space, and you can switch between those directly from the remote control. You can also play back your video recordings directly on the Cloner Alliance Pro 2. Initially all I was looking for was a simple portable HDMI capture device, but as an added bonus, I can also now connect most of my retro consoles to it too. I just want to make clear, Cloner Alliance did send me this review unit, but they did not pay me a penny to review it. I don't believe in giving any airtime to bad products. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.